Hey, it's Ken Barrett, Laundromat How To. Last Thursday, this is Monday now, I'm making this video. Last Thursday, I'd stopped by one of my stores and there was some water leaking up by the road in the parking lot. It's a spot I'd had, uh, there was a leak there a few years ago and they had come in and done a repair on a water main, put a concrete patch underground and put some asphalt back on. And it was actually leaking out right on the edge of that. So I called up the city and said, you know, there's water leak at the edge of the parking lot. It's, it's very close to where one was before. I don't think it's mine. Uh, can you send somebody to have a look at it? And usually they're pretty good if there's somebody there within, you know, 15, 20 minutes or half an hour just checking, trying to narrow it down. So I hung around for a little bit and then had some other things to do and carried on. I took a quick look at the meter. Uh, there's a bit of dirt on it. I don't like reaching down into the the meter holes down here in the south. Sometimes you never know what you're going to get into. So kind of took a quick look in and see anything. A bit of dirt on the meter, but really couldn't see if it was moving or not. Didn't see anything obvious, so... I carried on and so I got back there this morning and the water's still running out pretty steady out of the parking lot and uh, there was one of the customers there saying well I was just going to call the, the water works on it. I said well I called them last week you know they probably sent somebody out they're just scheduling it in. So I took a look at it and went and got an orange traffic cone just to sit there because the ground was getting a little soft make sure nobody drops off into oblivion. And uh, So I went in and he said well I went ahead and called the water the water department anyways. It's okay thanks. So about 10 minutes later, I look out and they're out there checking it out. The guy says, well, you know, we can't hear anything on our side. We'd like to shut the meter off just to find out if it's used. So I went in and checked, nothing was running, even though the water was, the meter was spinning. Now they got in there and cleaned it off. The meter was actually spinning. And we had nothing running inside, so they shut it off. And sure enough, the water leak stopped right away. So they, I said, what do I do now? And they said, call the plumber. All right, so got a hold of the landlord because it is out in the parking lot got a hold of the landlord and uh, they're fairly quick and to the point I said yeah this is you know who I am from uh, it's Ken Baird from the laundromat and I uh, got a water leak out in the parking lot okay thanks click so all right and then uh, about 10 minutes later I was out there just taking a look at it and taking a few pictures and talking to the water department just to understand what my billing is going to be so far it's the fifth of the month and I've used as much water as I'm gonna use on by the 28th. So it's been a pretty steady leak over the last weekend. So the the guy who owns a plumbing company, he swings by just to see what's going on and we get looking at it and we're trying to more or less trace the pipes. One, one thing to say here is when you, when you get into a, a building, especially something older, it's uh, a lot of times laundromats have been in buildings that have been renovated a couple of times. The laundromat might've been there for a long time Try and learn as much as you can about the utilities, where they're run, just where they are in the parking lot. The building I'm in, it's it's kind of weird. So the, getting a little off topic here, but the, the laundromat was originally twice the size. It's a four unit building, it took up two units. At some point they cut it in half, added a little addition on the back to put in a, a restroom and a hot water heater space and stuff. And then it's been went through various the other unit went through various usage and now I'm using it as a storage unit well because it was originally part of the laundry the water feed actually goes up through that and goes over to the laundromat but there's no water in that unit that unit didn't have an address when I first started renting it so you know I kind of was out there with the plumber saying well the water comes in through this unit over here and over there and he's got a little tracking device they can track metal pipes with but seems they're probably plastic under the ground so he can't track it there but Kind of looked around a little bit just trying to get a general route on where we figure the water line's going to be and they're going to have to come and dig up the parking lot so i normally i like to hang around just see what's going on keep an eye on things take pictures all that kind of stuff let people know what's happening but uh today i've got a, a lunch meeting so don't want to miss out on those lunch meetings so it's uh a meeting i set up last week and we're going to be talking about some uh money sorters and counters and changers for an upcoming podcast and some more information on those so I need to make it to this but uh, I just you know wanted to kind of let you know that if you do see get, you know tell your attendants if you are and, and when you are coming and going out of your store don't just concentrate on your store but keep an eye on understand where your water comes in where your meter is you want to know where that is because you ever have a bad leak and you gotta shut it off in a hurry too but just um, just keep an eye out for things like this 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 one here I mean Fortunately, our water rates are quite reasonable. I know there's other parts of the country I might have been knocking out a couple thousand dollars in, in the parking lot over the weekend, but fortunately, I don't think I'm going to be that bad. 
but I will probably be, you know, a few hundred dollars more just run down the parking lot. So just keep an eye out for things like that. Uh, if you do see something out of the ordinary, whether it's lines hanging low or, you know, water seeping out of the ground, sometimes it's, it's just a slow seep to start with. There might be a lot actually leaking underground where you're not seeing it. So just keep an eye out for stuff like that. If you see some water, kind of keep an idea in your mind, you know, when was the last time that it rained? Is that something that's just seeping up out of the ground from heavy rain or, you know, it's been a few days, maybe that is another problem. But in this case here, you know, I got a little sloppy last week and I should have investigated a bit more myself. And uh, I would have found out pretty quick, just shutting my valve off that it was a leak on my side and I could have got it fixed up last week. But I got lazy, it's cost me money, so that's how it is. Uh, like I said, just something I wanted to cover with you guys, uh, put more information and in, uh, some of the pictures of what I had of the leak in the parking lot and uh, the problems I had. I'm going to get a new mount. This thing keeps settling down on me. There we go. And uh, get some pictures of the parking lot and, you know, sort of showing how much it was coming out. Just a couple little short videos of the, the water actually bubbling up. But I'll put those on laundromathowto.com so you can get a bit more understanding there and uh, just see some of the details of what I was seeing, what I was looking for. So if you got any more comments, questions, please let me know. And uh, hope you subscribe to the podcast on iTunes at laundromathowto.com, the podcast. Just do a search for Laundromat on iTunes and it'll come right up there. And uh, I hope to see you over there. We'll talk to you later on.